for for the next say two weeks. Look, thank you very much for uh, coming in. Um, one question that every Kenyan would ask right now is: Yes, they're going to the um, Supreme Court, but what do we expect to see? Uh, thank you uh, for hosting me. Mm -hmm. I think in the in the next uh, okay by by tomorrow, mm -hmm. uh, at least we, we 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 ought to see petitions filed. Mm -hmm. Uh, so that then we'll be able to know exactly how many petitions have been filed, uh, by which parties. Yeah. Uh, from then on, then time starts running. Uh, the petitioners then have to serve their petitions against the respondents, mm -hmm. who in this case are the IBC mm -hmm. and maybe the president-elect, yeah. uh, President Uhuru Kenyatta. Mm -hmm. uh, after that time, then the Supreme Court then has 14 days mm -hmm. from the date when the results were declared mm -hmm. uh, to determine the petition. Uh, either say... Uh, the elections were invalid mm -hmm. and therefore we must go back to fresh elec mm -hmm. elections or up uphold the election of President Uhuru Kenyatta, mm -hmm. which is then um, he continues to be sworn in mm -hmm. as the next president, I mean, as the, as, as the president of this country yeah. uh, for a second term. Okay, yes. just hold on to that. Let's uh, speak to our reporter, Sophia Anuna. I understand we have her now. She's joining us live from the Supreme Court. Sophia.